Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Coolster Codes. Today we're going to talk about Georgia Tech's machine learning class as part of their online master's program. Now I'm in the program and actually took this class last semester, so I'm hoping to save you some headache with a few tips. Let's get started. Alright, this GIF sums it up pretty well. The lectures are hilarious, the projects are awful. They're so tedious and they take so long to complete. I mean, it's like you do understand machine learning by doing them, but it feels like some busy work too. Uh, that being said, it's totally manageable to get a B in this class. I got a B with 40% in the end because there is an extreme curve. It's really harshly graded, so don't f don't worry if you're getting 50% on assignments. That could still end up getting a B for you. Quick tips: um, you don't need the textbook for this class, even though it says so in the syllabus. We didn't really use it for any projects. If you're interested in the theory, go for it, but I don't find it to help much with the assignments. A nice thing about this class is you can work ahead in the projects. So basically you can plan ahead if you're going on vacation, you can do a project ahead of time. And I highly suggest even just starting early every time because these projects take forever. Alright, so what is machine learning? Well basically it's getting computers to make decisions on their own without being told explicitly to do so. The exams are 25% of your final grade, so I would suggest spending most of your time on the exams, like studying for those, because each question on exam will end up being about 2 to 5% of your final grade. And they only take like 10 minutes to answer. So compare that to a project, which is worth about 10% of your grade. The projects take 20 to 30 hours to complete. So if you can do well on the exams, you're saving yourself time. That's where I would invest my time if I had to take this class again. The projects themselves are very tedious and just take a long time to code. Also, the write-ups are even more important than the code in this class. So don't think you're done when you finish coding. Make sure you leave enough time to do well on your write-up and answer and, and an analyze everything you can about your project. Alright, let's talk about projects. Supervised learning. You can use any code package to implement the following algorithms, you know, decision tree, neural networks, support vector machines, boosting. You don't need to code these from scratch. That's my pro tip for you. Utilize PyTorch, Weka, there's another one, Abigail, anything that will basically implement those models for you. The part you're focused on is getting results and analyzing those results. So don't spend too much time actually coding up the implementations yourself because you'll have to spend a lot more time analyzing the results. This project is 15% of your grade, so definitely get started early. And the first thing you can do, even before you start the class, is finding some interesting data sets that you want to talk about. So they can be from anywhere as long as they're non-trivial. So not like Iris, for example. There's a data set called Iris, and it's super simple. I mean, it's a good learning data set, but use something a little bit more involved, except that it can't be overly complex either. Uh, just make sure it's like interesting, but not overly complex, if that makes sense. Okay, next project is called Randomized Optimization. It's 10% of your grade, and it's very time-consuming because you have to code up 16 different experiments with four different algorithms. So, I mean, there's just a lot of moving parts to this. It's not necessarily difficult to code, but it just takes a lot of time. Watch the lecture videos for this project, for sure. They talk about the algorithms. They go really in-depth. And the last algorithm you need is Mimic, which was Dr. Isabel's graduate thesis. So he goes into that really well. And you're going to end up going back to project one with these algorithms. Um, you're going to basically like train a neural network weight set with these algorithms. So I would definitely plan ahead, try and figure out how you could combine the code packages or just use the same one throughout the whole class. It will save you a lot of time. The code package that I ended up using is called Abigail, and it helps a lot. It has like all of these algorithms out of the box. It's even mentioned in the forums for this class. So, I mean, that's my suggestion is using that. All right, third project is unsupervised learning. This one is the most tedious one. Start early on this one, and you're going to be tired because it will be like the middle of the semester, but you just 
give yourself the advantage start early because you're going to be doing like 20 different experiments so writing about these my advice I'm sorry I don't have really good advice I didn't get a great score I only got like 23 out of 100 so I'm not sure you want my advice but the only thing I can say is definitely start early I don't think I ended up finishing my experiments is why so yeah definitely start early on this one alright last project you're almost there Markov decision process so this one's really fun and in a different Georgia Tech class CS 7642 reinforcement learning you're going to be doing markup decision processes like the whole semester and I, I suggest taking that class if you're interested in this last project to sum this all up a 40 percent could get you a b in the class so just stick with it do your best you'll do great thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one